The Blurb module in the DV theme in the DV Builder is a very versatile module which can be used and styled in many different ways. But one styling option that is missing is the possibility to align the icon or an image to the right side. So in this short video, I will show you how to achieve that with just a few lines of CSS. Hey there, my name is Ania Romańska and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. So you might be wondering when you would need to or want to align the icon inside the blurb module to the right side. So I've prepared um, sample sections that showcase just that. So here is the first example that uh, left side uh, uses a blurb module with an icon on the right side. So it is aligned nicely with an image in the middle. And the second example includes a, a simple timeline. So as you can see, I have four blurb modules here with this alternating style. And these on the left side would need to have the icon aligned to the right to create this uh, timeline effect. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and try to recreate that and uh, I will show you what CSS is needed to achieve that. Okay, so here I have the same exact layout but without any custom CSS added and I think it doesn't look as nice uh, with uh, these icons on the left. What I did is I've added a CSS class of the help blurb icon right to each of the modules I want to move that icon. So here, here, and also for these two. Uh, one thing you might be wondering is how I've created that line here. And this is added um, inside the column settings. So row and the first column in the design tab, it uses the right border. Okay, so the it adds two pixel border to the first column and on tablet it re uh, removes it because uh, for um, for when the blurbs go to full width it's no longer needed um, but on desktop when we have that alternating uh, layout we could have that line in the middle so the first column has a right border and also in the row settings I've uh, changed the gutter width to one so that um, there's no spacing between uh, the columns here. And I also uh, enabled equalized column heights uh, to make sure that here, when we only have a module in the right column, that uh, first column is equally tall to uh, use that same border because in the second row, also the first column uses the this right border. Okay, so we have that custom class added to these four blurbs here. And now on the front end, if we inspect that page, so that's my uh, blurb module. It has that DL blurb icon right CSS class. And I will use Flexbox to change the alignment of icons. And if we are using Flexbox, we need to um, target the parent container. So what are we changing? The alignment of that ETPB main blurb image and the container. Okay, that these are the two elements we want to switch the order of. So the parent container is ETPB blurb content uh, div. So if I target that div, but only when it's inside of the DL blurb icon, right? Now I can use flex. So display flex and flex direction um, row reverse. Simple as that. So that's the CSS I will copy here to my um, custom CSS on that page. It moves the icon. So 
what I would also like to do is change the um, text alignment to the right, but only on desktop. So on tablet, it would go back to left and mobile left. Okay, so that's that's what I want. Um, I will also copy that text alignment and paste that here. Okay, and also here and here. Now let's save that, refresh on the front end, and you'll notice uh, one um, problem here is the spacing. Okay, here when the icon is on the left, we have that space in between icon and the content, and here there's no space anymore. So if I inspect that element, I can see that the green uh, part is a padding. So the ETPB blurb container has a um, left padding of 15 pixels. So here it still has left padding, right? So I want to switch that padding to the, move it to the right, right? So again, our blurb container, which is uh, inside our DL blurb icon, right? So another uh, rule set. We want to remove the padding from the left and add it to the right. So instead using padding left, padding right, we could just specify padding and then top right 15 pixel, bottom zero and left zero. And that would match the padding uh, on this right uh, left aligned uh, icon here. And now I will paste that CSS here. And one additional thing I would want to do is to make sure that this uh, custom code only applies to desktop because on tablet, if I resize my browser window, it can go back to as it was. The icon alignment can be back to normal, back to the left side here and here as well. Just a simple um, single column structure. So we don't need to move that icon on to the right on tablets and phones. That's why I will wrap all that CSS in the media query, media men width of 981 pixels. That's the um, tablet and desktop breakpoint, opening and closing bracket, just like that. Okay, so one last thing, not related to changing the alignment of the icon, but just to uh, show you how I've set up that uh, timeline. This module uses a transform um, translate negative 21 pixels. Just to let me just to move it to the uh, if that would, wouldn't be here, it would be aligned right there when, where the column starts. So if we want to move it to the middle, we have to use the negative value. And I think negative 21 with that icon size works well. And then uh, I am removing that uh, transformation for tablet and phone. So that's the uh, these two and for the two which are on the left side, the transformation would be different because we are moving it to the right and not to the left. So let's try 10, I think 12 or 13 pixels that aligns it in the middle of, of that line here. And then on tablet, no transformation so that it is aligned uh, in the same line here. Okay, so I would need to do the same here for that uh, second one in the design, transform, translate, and 13 pixels to the right, and then on tablet, zero and phone zero. Okay, so that's correct. And now that uh, last row doesn't use that uh, border on the first column, so it ends with an icon. I think it, it looks nice. And that's it. 
So I hope this was helpful. As always, you can copy the code I used from my blog post. You can also download the sample sections, the feature section and the sample timeline from, from my blog as well. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.